Are you still with me? <laughs> yes. Jamie Fox is the new spawn. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> um, after playing Electro in the failed The Amazing Spider-Man 2, um, Jamie Foxx is going to, you know, give another crack or take another shot at comic book adaptation. And so this time he has signed on to be the star of the new Spawn movie from the creator Todd McFarlane and Bloom House Productions. Todd himself, uh, who came up with the, with the comic books, he will get to write and direct the project as well. And he will produce it with Oscar nominee Jason Bloom, who gave us, you know, Get Out and Whiplash uh, and all those um, you know, Truth or Dare movies and all those genre horror movies. So Jason Bloom. Um, Spawn was previously adapted, adapted into <laughs> one of my favorite 1990s movies, 1997 film, directed by Mark A.Z. Dipp, who hasn't done anything significant since, um, to my recollection at least. And the story is about an elite mercenary who was killed but comes back from hell as a reluctant soldier of the devil. Well, the devil has has uh, a different name. Uh, I don't remember at the, mo at the moment. And the devil's right-hand man is this annoying creature called the clown, uh, played or the violator, the violator played by John Leguizamo in that movie. It was budgeted at $40 million, and unfortunately, it was not well-received by critics and fans, and it only banked about $54 million at domestic box office. But it did spawn, no pun intended, uh, spawn animated series in the 90s. Um, and so Tyler says, I really hope he can redeem himself for Electro. I really, I really hope so too, Tyler. I hope so too. Um, do you guys remember the movie Spawn, 1997 movie Spawn? All right. Uh, I watched it a couple of times after, you know, saw it when I was younger. And if you see it again today, you'll notice that the visual effects were so easy, <laughs> especially for uh, for the hell scenes, you know, with the, with the devil. And oh my goodness, it's just, I was like, when I was a kid, I was so easily impressed. You know, I was like, oh my God, this is like the coolest thing ever. But if you watch Spawn again, I was like, oh, oh, oh that doesn't look cool. Um, <laughs> exactly. Very 90 CGI. The same, the same kind of CGI you see in the Mortal Kombat movies, if you were to make a comparison. So that kind of that kind of CG, that, that kind of visual effects. So just, so just for that reason alone, yes, yes, I am open to seeing Spawn reboot, you know, using today's technology, using, to, you know, today's filmmaking uh, techniques. Um, maybe uh, Jamie Foxx will do a performance capture. I don't know. Um, I can't wait. Uh, and I, I hope the design or the look for the new Spawn is way better with the, the cape look, hopefully looks better. The chains hopefully look better. Um, and I hope the script is better because if you watch the 1997 Spawn movie, oh, <laughs> even though, as I said earlier, it was, you know, the Crow and Spawn were still way better in comparison to Batman Forever and Batman and Robin and the Phantom and the colorful, colorful superhero movies. But, um, you know, for 2018, we got to up the ante. We definitely got to up the ante. I'm not too hot about Todd McFarlane directing the movie. I don't know about you guys. Uh, I'm okay with him, excuse me, providing the script. And I hope, I hope the producers or Jason Bloom would bring in another writer to make a polish of it. Um, and, um, but the directing part, I don't know. I don't. I don't remember the last movie that or short movie that Todd McFarlane directed. I got to check it out first, uh, uh, in order to to decide or to judge whether or not I have confidence in his filmmaking. Um, but I would rather have it if somebody else directed this new Spawn movie. Uh, yeah, the 1997 movie starred Michael J. White, 
Uh, <laughs> Michael J. Watt, as you know, it was a badass in martial art. Um, but no offense to Michael, he was not a good actor. He was just he he doesn't have it in him. He's a B list kind of as far as acting goes. Um, he's a red box direct to video kind of kind of acting skills. Um, Diesel Films asks, whatever happened to Michael J. White? Well, uh, the, the answer to that is you can watch my video interview with Michael J. White uh, from two years ago, I believe, or last year on the red carpet. And here's the interesting part. I asked him, I asked him about the new Spawn because, you know, there's always been rumors about Spawn reboot. And Michael said to me, uh, and you can watch the video interview. It's like, hey, basically he said, and I'm paraphrasing here, I am I am ready to get back in the role. I'm still I'm still in shape. I'm still fit. I can play the role again. You know, all I need is for them to to knock on my door, to to ring my phone, to call me again. I can I can wear the costume again. So yeah, now with Jamie Foxx uh, set to star as the new Spawn. I totally wonder what Michael J. White thinks about that. I hope I get to see him again on the red carpet in the near future and ask him that question. I'm sure he won't mind. I mean, I'm sure he'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, giving support to J Jamie Foxx. Between you and me, Jamie is a better actor than Michael J. <laughs> so, but we'll see about Jamie Foxx's fighting skills because Spawn, or Spawn, I'm sorry, Spawn, is a pretty badass killing machine. Uh, so he he needs to train on that aspect, definitely. Um, Diesel Film says they should give him a cameo like they did with Lou, uh, Lou Ferrigno in Hulk. All right. I'm all for that. I'm all for that. Um, yeah, that's a great idea. So that's my pretty much my thoughts about Spawn. No arguments here. I'm I'm open to the reboot. I can't wait for it. I think it opens late next year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so hopefully get they get right to it, they get cracking and make it happen for all of us. And yeah, Todd McFarlane, you know. All right, man. <laughs> Let's see what you got. <laughs> Let's see what you got as the director. 